Canada is known for its remote backcountry. I really fell in love with its true backcountry a few years ago on a trip to the Tombstone Territorial Park in the Yukon Territory. A two hour drive down the Dempster Highway, which is a dirt highway, locking food away in bare barrels, followed by four days of unforgiving terrain. Terrain that allowed for sub-freezing temperatures to the summer days of July. It was true isolation. Hi, I'm Kieran Kelly. I'm 25 years old, and I guess I'd call myself an overlander. Overlanding to me is the pursuit of that true isolation. Dirt highways, accessible only by trucks and people willing to drive them. Alpine lakes, remote hot springs, hidden rivers, and better campsites. My parents told me of a time when they tried to drive up a back road in British Columbia to this natural hot spring. The road was impassable by car and they ended up having to turn around and come back. We drove there today in my truck. I can drive to places you can't get to in a normal vehicle and I can go to places you definitely can't get to by foot. This rig is purpose-built to get into and out of remote mountain locations. Places that people won't willingly drive to. The reward speaks for itself. Waking up to frost in the morning, overlooking vast mountain ranges, hundreds of kilometers away from human existence, is a special feeling. It's something I think everyone should aim to experience. It's adventure, and it makes you feel alive. <laughs>